Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to deal with this error message. Um, so this is if you've been coding in JavaScript and you're making a call to another um, website per se, a, a different domain is typically when you get this, uh, it says no access control allow origin header is present on the requested resource. resource. Um, so what that means is uh, you're, like I said, you're calling another domain. In this instance, I have uh, some JavaScript. I'll, I'll show you the code here. And uh, making a call, I want to parse this, um, the World Bank website. Um, this is a World Bank website has lots of really cool data. And it's neat, very handy to be able to uh, parse that in JavaScript and bring it in and um, format it and do some cool things with it. So as I was trying to do this, I was hidden and got this error. And uh, I knew that once I um, put this on my web server, I was going to be using a, um, a proxy, this, see this PHP proxy, um, which is the, the, the cleanest um, workaround for that issue. Um, so you just create a PHP page that your um, JavaScript calls. And so this works when you call it from server-side script. You can call that domain. Um, but when you do a browser um, call, that's what you run into. No, none of the browsers let you do that. And JavaScript runs in the browser, right? Um, so anyway, let me get, I'll show you two quick solutions. So uh, the first one's super quick. You just go to the, um, and this is in Chrome. I think there's one for Firefox as well where uh, you go to the Chrome store, um, search for this um, extension. It's called Allow Control Allow Origin. Um, it's offered by uh, Vitvad. And just hit like Add to Chrome, do all that stuff, and here it is here. Um, one thing very important to note, though, uh, and I think the hopefully these guys will change this, is that um, by default it's on. And so you want to make sure it's off until you need it for development purposes. So let me show you how it works. So once you add it, it'll appear up here. And so I have my um, JavaScript code here, which just is a um, typical code that you would use to uh, parse a website. I have a, like a um, X HTTP, uh, like a, almost like a your standard Ajax call. And if um, I wasn't getting that error, I would get all the data would come in, and um, it comes in as XML in this instance, and I'm looking at the name of every country. Um, this uh, just lists countries in the World Bank database, um, and actually low-income low countries is what this is looking at. Not that that matters for this demo. Um, and then I'm adding them to this uh, string that I have here, and then when it's all done saving to that string, I'm going to show it to the screen. It's just going to be um, a bunch of countries um, separated by spaces, like right there, okay? And so, like I said, when I run that right now, I get this error, but if I click on this and then click on um, enable, now it turns green, it's enabled, and I hit refresh, there you go. I have the countries show up. So it works really, really nice, real quick. Um, and it's great for uh, when I'm developing stuff here and I don't want to throw it up on my server yet. So like I said, I'd recommend you leave it off. Um, if you leave it on, some websites actually don't even work, like YouTube acts funny. Uh, so it's good to leave it off and just turn it on when you need it. Um, so, But if you have a web server and you're able and you want to um, do something like this, uh, you would change this right here. So I would no longer... Um, I'm no longer going to call uh, directly to the World Bank or whatever website you're calling. So I'll show you. So I went, this is uh, the version of that file that works with um, this proxy.php. So I really just call that proxy.php. I could send it a few parameters with a question mark, like A equals uh, PJM, which is uh, just uh, some little code that is going to tell... Um, and I'll, I'll show you where that comes in. So when it gets called over here, if, um, oh, PJM, if, uh, if a, 
which gets saved into the C variable, is equal to PJM. And then we're going to call this um, address. If not, we call this other alternative address. And all this does is get the information, brings it in, and then uh, prints it to the screen. And if we go back here, you'll see that um, th this works the same way, where whatever is printed to the screen, screen on that proxy.php gets saved um, in here uh, in this XML response. And then I do the same thing where I go and look. Um, in this instance, I'm looking at the country. Um, I'm going to change this so it does the uh, alternative one. And so I'm putting in something other than the PJM, so it'll go to the else part in here, because um, that's the one I have set up. And upload these to my server, and I'll show you. I hit refresh here, and these are um, all the countries that show up. And in case you're interested, this is... Um, Oh, this is looking at the gross national product for those countries. So this is the country names. There's also another uh, field that I could be looking at that gives you the actual um, gross national product uh, level for that country. Um, so I hope that you find this interesting. Uh, it's um, something that's very useful. You know, data, big data is um, kind of rules the world right now. So if you know how to um, access it and use it on your web interfaces then it makes you uh, all the more powerful so um, let me know if you have any questions and uh, please subscribe